<laughs> so today we're going to talk about should you give him another chance if he's disappeared and then wants you back he comes back to you you know uh and uh this is very 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 common these days because there are so many choices so much going on uh when you're dating so let me tell you about uh, one of our coaching clients. You know, uh, one of our love mentor clients, Julie, um, she was an amazing, wonderful woman. I mean, our clients really are incredible. <laughs> and, um, and she was 40 something and she met this guy, Joe, uh, on match. And they were having a wonderful time. He really seemed to be the one, you know, they were having fabulous dinners, going to concerts, having these amazing picnics at the beach at sunset. Um, you know, things were going amazing, really, really amazing. And she really thought he was it. This was it, you know. Um, and um, then after they had been dating about two months, he had to go to London on a business trip and a business assignment that took a while. And at first he was, you know, in contact with her. They were Skyping. Uh, they were in contact. Um, and it, he seemed to get busier and busier and busier. And he pulled back. And um, next thing you know, it was several weeks later. And he basically disappeared. He ghosted her. I mean, he really, really disappeared. He was not responding to her, uh, you know, for, you know, her trying to talk with him on Skype or sending him messages. He was not responding at all. Hey, Karen. Um, anyway, so, um, uh, so, you know, she was heartbroken. She was heartbroken. Of course, what happens is you start dissecting what did I do wrong, right? What did I do wrong? You know, she was wondering, did I, you know, did I say something? Did I do something? Did I not sleep with him when I should have slept with him. You know, she's trying to obsess and she's very, very, very upset. Very, very upset. Uh, luckily, you know, she was in our program and she was dating a couple of other guys, but very peripherally and she brought them closer to her and, um, you know, uh, filled her dating of three dance card, her pro dating program of three dance card. I talked with you guys about that before. Um, and that'll be a topic for another Facebook Live. Um, but, you know, what happened was six months later, here, Joe pops up. And, he, and he's in town. He's in the U.S. And he's dinner, right? So the question is, should she give him a chance? Should Julie say, yes, you know, what do you think? You know, what do you think? You should, should she say yes? Now, most people would say, absolutely no, heck no. Why would you do that with someone who hurt you? Well, you know, this is a very, very common situation, you know, with the rise of ghosting, uh, you know, very common uh, behavior with people. And um, I see Carrie say no. <laughs> Tough, you're tough, Carrie. That's good. <laughs> um, this this behavior is very very common because uh, you know with a lot of this uh, digital dating, this uh, you know behavior like this is kind of almost acceptable because they do it and they disappear, um, and so it can be really 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 problematic. Then, of course, there is the question of if you're really into the guy, what about if you really, really like the guy, you really want the guy, and there's something about him that is different, that really feels like a soulmate, you know, and so your heart is longing to give him another chance. Your heart is like saying, can we try, can we try, can we try, please, can we try? So, you know, if you know, if there is that situation, the truth is, is that I would say in about 15% of the cases, and that's a very small percent of the cases, um, um, uh, you know, uh, he, he, the guy can actually show that he's grown and he's, he's risen and he's realized that he gave up something that, um, that, that was special and unique and incredible. And um, so if you're feeling, 
if you're feeling like, you know, this guy is very special, I want to give it a chance in case there is a possibility that he could have risen to the occasion, have realized what he lost, have come to appreciate me and really come to appreciate me. Um, if there's a chance, um, you can agree to see the guy for coffee. You want to keep him at arm's length, right? Because he's hurt you. Um, and then see if you can, um, if, if here are some questions you can ask yourself when you're having coffee with him to help you figure out if he might have grown a little bit. Um, yeah, I know, Carrie, you're saying trust has already been broken. That's true. That's really, really true. Um, but, you know, sometimes things can change and sometimes in a small percentage of the cases, they can come around and make it up to you. So here are some questions you could ask if you give them a chance and you give them a coffee date. Um, is he remorseful and apologetic that he dropped the ball? Is he remorseful? Is he sorry about screwing up, right? Number two, is he clear about why he pulled away and what it had to do with, right? And we'll get into an example of this later uh, in terms of Julie's situation. Number three, uh, does he wanna make it up to you somehow? And number four, is he saying that he's come to realize that you are the one that got away, that he's come to realize how special you really, really, really are? So those are some questions you could ask yourself to see if he's in that small percentage of guys, small percentage of guys who do grow, who come to realize they've made a mistake, who want to be a man and, and try to uh, really make it work with you. Um, so those are the, the four things. Is he remorseful? Is he clear about why he did it? Uh, does he want to make it up to you? And is he saying that he realizes how great you are? Um, so uh, let's get to back to Julie. And Julie's situation, she did not agree to go to dinner with uh, Joe. Joe wanted to come back into the picture and he wanted her to go right back into dinner, you know, and their dating routine. And she did not do that. She said, I will meet you for coffee though. So she was meeting him for coffee. And she was going to assess whether he he actually these important questions, you know. So she looked at him and she said, you know, what happened? What happened? Right. So he got very embarrassed and he turned red and he was like, you know, uh, the whole situation there in London was tanking. It was falling apart. I was working constantly. I, I felt like a failure because it was not working out. The whole project was falling apart. I got very depressed, very, very depressed. And uh, I'm so sorry. I'm just so sorry that I, I let you down. I'm really, really sorry. And as he was talking about this, you know, Julie was like, oh, feeling, actually feeling, um, uh, like uh, some compassion for him, you know, she was feeling some compassion. And, um, you know, he uh, said he had uh, bought her this special gift in London, which was uh, a beautiful, uh, a beautiful robe with roses on it. She really loved roses and that he wanted to make it up to her and to please give him a chance. And he realized how very special their relationship was, how very special and unique she was and how he really uh, missed the ball, dropped the ball with her, and he wanted to try again, please, please let him try again. And, um, you know, so there he's kind of meeting all these criteria about, uh, about rising to the occasion. You know, he really understands that he screwed up and he wants to do better, and he wants to be a very loving, good partner. Um, and, um, so she did give him another chance. She was seeing two other guys though, because she was hedging her, you know, bets. This is what we do in a dating program of three. We, uh, we don't just hang on one guy waiting for a text, waiting for a call, waiting for a date. Um, we want to, uh, be empowered and, um, you know, in your diamond self, high value diamond self identity and letting the guys work to, really worked to be with you. And, um, and Joe was fantastic. He, he kept on, you know, he was, 
He was very consistent, and this is something we're looking for now, especially with somebody who's dropped the ball and is screwed up. You know, they have to be consistent. He was being very consistent, texting all the time, texting contacts several times a day, regular dates, uh, inviting her to meet his friends, inviting her to meet his family. This is the kind of thing we want to see from a guy who is wanting to make it serious with you. We want to see things getting better and better and better over time, right? They, we want to see them getting better. So Joe was doing all of that. Uh, they were sharing some space. He invited her to leave some stuff at his apartment. And that's another marker of things getting better and better. You know, you're sharing your space together. And um, after a year, um, she's been very, very happy with him. She wound up uh, actually uh, getting, you know, graduating from that dating program of three. She um, said goodbye to the other guys. And um, she's very, very happy with him. And um, chances are they will probably get engaged. But as I say, this is one out of about 10 to 15 percent of guys who have disappeared and yet they come to realize that they've totally screwed up, right? And then they want to be a fantastic boyfriend. They want to court you. They want to love you. They want to win you back. That means that 85% of the time when somebody disappears on you, it's kaput. You know, it's just not going to work. It's absolutely not going to work. Uh, so I want you to remember, if you're in this situation, do not take it personally, please. And this is something we were talking about last week. You know, if somebody is rejecting or moving away from you, there are many, many, many factors. And yet what we tend to do is we get all upset internally and we think, I did something wrong or there's something wrong with me. Uh, it's so easy to do that. It, you know, I'm too old. I'm too fat. I'm whatever it is, I'm damaged goods from my last relationship. It was just too bad. Uh, I'll never recover. And um, that's something I want you to not suffer with. You do not need to suffer with that, my love. You do not. If uh, someone disappears on you, you just go next, 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 next. <laughs> And I promise you, there's someone better around the corner. There's someone better around the corner. Uh, it's like um, it, it, often these people who disappear on you, they're doing you a favor. They're absolutely doing you a favor because you wind up with somebody so much better. Oh, my goodness, so much better. So, you know, the key is to not... Um, suffer too much. You want to not suffer too much and and uh, be pining after the one that got away. Uh, and um, in order to do that, you know, get yourself out there, fill your calendar, do a little exercise, a little meditation, you know, force yourself to get busy and most importantly, date other people, really get on the horse. And um, uh, And you won't look back. Believe me, you will not look back. You will realize that this person absolutely did you a favor. They really did you a favor, my love. So, um, you know, you, you know, I want you guys to be just smart about this. And um, I want you to not quit before the miracle. And there is a miracle coming to you. There are actually a number of miracles. But... Uh, there is a significant love miracle coming to you. And um, I know it is. And you just stay the course and you will have it. So I love you so much for having the courage to learn about love, to, uh, to really uh, be a heroine uh, and rise no matter what happens, no matter what happens to you. I just love that. I, I admire that so much. And um, I have lots of resources for you if this does happen to you or you're, you have some dating questions or you're not feeling it right now. Remember, you can have a free session by phone or Skype with one of my amazing love mentor coaches. I adore them. I adore them. Uh, all you need to do is go to lovein90days.com. That's lovein90days.com. And click on the coaching tab. And please, when you fill out the form, put in Facebook 
uh, when it says where did you come from, say Facebook. So I know you're one of the posse here, and I'll make sure you get your session. Sometimes we have to turn people away. Uh, also, you can uh, subscribe to my newsletter, which is great to get support, a lot of support. Uh, and that's also at lovein90days.com. And um, of course, come hang with me every Thursday at 2 Eastern time here at my Facebook page, Dating to True Love Mentor, Dr. Diana Kirchner. But it's Dating to True Love Mentor for those of you who are watching on YouTube. And that's it for today. I love you. Uh, I know that your journey is going to be a big one. In the end, it's going to be great. And I'm um, wishing you lots and lots of wonderful love. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, take care. See you next Thursday at 2 Eastern.